Attack Master Adventures is brought to you in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thomas and friends, making tracks to great destinations. And with that, I crossed the finish line, winning the great race. Yes, shooting star, we know. This is the hundredth time you've told this story. Today. Oh, but my dear Edward, it was such a great tale of victory. Not just for me, but all of Sodor. Because unlike the other engines that competed, I actually won my event. I honestly expected more from all of you. Henry, I'm disappointed you couldn't pull a measly flatbed with wood on it. Not to mention you came in last place. It wasn't my fault. It was very heavy, and those other engines were much stronger than I was. Still, that's sad, Henry. And James, you should have won your competition. Being splendid is your game. But both you and Emily lost to some stupid Indian engine. Well, shooting star, those judges don't know what splendid is if they didn't choose me. Once again, back with excuses, aren't we, James? Now, Percy. Poor, naive, little Percy. You didn't even have a chance to win the shunting competition. And what did you do? You lost to all of those international engines, including that Ashima. Leave her out of this, Gordon! Thomas, for the last time, my name is Shooting Star. And besides, we might have actually won two trophies if you didn't have your little accident. Oh, wait. No, you still would have lost. Enough, brother. Leave these engines alone. They didn't do anything to deserve this. Oh, but Scotsman... They did. They couldn't even hold their own against international engines. Speaking of, I'm even disappointed in you, brother. You came in last place in the great race. I expected more from the first engine that went a hundred miles per hour. Oh wait, that was City of Churro that did that. And that was years ago. I'm quite disappointed that the engine of your standards came in last place, Scotty. You know, Gordon, you're nothing but Full of hot air for winning that competition. It has gone straight to your smoke box. Oh, jealous much? Anyway, I need to get to my train. The express cannot be late. <laughs> Shooting star coming through! Oh, that Gordon. He's getting on my nerves. I think he's getting on all of our nerves, Thomas. It's not fair, though. We all did our best. He has no right to criticize us for losing. Oh, and it's off the side of Gordon left once he fell in that ditch. But it seems winning the great race has built his pride back up again. Making him the jerk he was all those years ago. You know, I'd like to see someone teach that oversized galloping sausage a lesson. But how? Hmm. Hey, you there, small engine. Fetch my coaches, and make it snappy. A shooting star? I already have! You have now? Yes, sir. Right on track one. Just you like it. That's a good engine. Now do me a favor and stay out of my way. Ha! He's a nice engine. Welp, I've better get back to work. Stupid Gordon. Thinking he's better than all of us. Oh, hello, Thomas! Hey, Philip. What's wrong, Thomas? Did you lose a race like shooting stars did when I raced him? No, Philip. I didn't lose a race. But Gordon's the problem. Ever since he won the crit race, he's been doing nothing but boasting about how great he is, and degrading all of us because we're not as good as him. Oh, well, I know how to solve your problem. How? Have a race and beat him. When he loses, then he'll be back to normal. It's not that easy, Philip. You just can't win a race with a streamlined engine. But I beat him! Philip, Gordon never raced you. And besides, he wasn't streamlined then. But Thomas! Philip, come over here. You have to shunt these costs for James's goods train. 
Oh, I have to go. Good luck with coming up with a plan, Thomas. Maybe he does have a point there, but there's no way I can risk Gordon and win. Oh, hello there, Thomas. I do apologize about what my brother said to you earlier. You're not the one who should be apologizing, Scotsman. You didn't do anything. But that bossy boiler Gordon did. Oh, Thomas. I know, my brother. It's just a phase. He'll act like that for a while. Then go back to being the same old arrogant Gordon that you know. Yeah, sure. I'll believe it when I see it. Trust me on this one, Thomas. Gordon will be back to normal soon enough. But if he isn't, I'll be sure to knock him back down to size. Time to go! Watch out, everyone! Shooting star coming through! Express cannot be late! Hello there, shooting star. I see you're still in a hurry as always. And why shouldn't I be, little Edwin? I'm the fastest engine on Sodor! Just watch me go! Gordon, what are you doing? Why, I'm proving a point, dear! Get out of my way! Me, James? More like you. You clearly didn't see my line was clear that the signal was red. Now, if you'll excuse me, James. I'll be on my way. Express coming through! Oh, that Gordon. I can't believe. He did what? That's right. I saw it with my own eyes. Gordon left the platform before the guard whistled and ignored his red signal, causing me and him to almost have an accident. He could have hurt one of us, or worse, harmed his passengers. And what for? If only we knew. Has Sir Topham Hatt been informed? I believe so. If that's the case, I hope we can talk some sense into Gordon. If not, then we'll have to. Ugh, let's hope for the best. Gordon, I am disappointed with you. After years and years of experience, you pull a stunt like that. I regret giving you that streamlined casing. It might have won us the trophy for a contest, but it isn't worth the human lives. Alright, sir. It won't happen again. It better not. I can always get a new express engine and make you a stationary boiler. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. As I can't trust you at this current moment, I shall put Henry on express work. You shall be put on goods duty. No buts, Gordon. Don't make me pull you out of service forever. Now then, I need you to go to the shunting yards to help out Percy. Do you understand? Good. Now then, be off with you. That cannot be who I think it is. Well, well, well. I never thought I lived to see the day that you would be here, Gordon. Well, you better treasure the moment, little Percy. I've been on good duty for the moment, 
But once the Fat Controller sees how bad Henry will do, I'll be back on service quicker than you can say, Don Caster. Right. Well, until then, make yourself useful and get your train ready. Hold on a moment. Why do I have to do that? Can't Philip do that? Because it's time you do some hard work. Plus, Philip is busy at the moment, so... Yeah. See you later, Gordon. And for the last time, it's Shooting Star! Your passengers know they're going to be late with you pulling the train, Henry. Then again, you might crash to another station or go for a swim. If anything, they'll be glad that they won't be having to worry about possibly dying, Gordon. Why, I never... Oh, shut up, Gordon. I beg your pardon. You... I'm tired of you treating us all like garbage. All you do is talk about how godlike you are and how we're all gnats. Well, you know what? I bet any one of us can go faster than you. Heck, I bet even I can go faster than you. <laughs> What's so funny? Is that so, Thomas? You can actually go faster than me. Yes, I can. Well then, only one way to find out, eh? Tomorrow we will race from Nutford to Kronk. If you win, I'll unstreamline myself. But if I win, not only will you have to shut my coaches, but pull all of my goods trains until I say otherwise. So, do we have a deal? You're on. Alright then, see you tomorrow, little Thomas. No, oh, don't worry, Gordon. I'm going to lose horribly! Honestly, Thomas, what made you think that racing him was a good idea? Did you take on some bad coal? I don't know. It was the heat of the moment. Now I'm definitely gonna lose tomorrow. Well, maybe there is a way to beat him. How? Well, we know you can't beat him speed-wise, but perhaps maybe you can outsmart him. Ah, uh, Percy might be onto something. Since Gordon will probably be thinking about only going faster in the race, he wouldn't expect anything else. Yeah. Remember when Edward raced Spencer? What if something like that happened? That overlies on Gordon taking a nap. And the lines are parallel to another, so he's gonna catch up and outrun me. Oh. Hmm, Mom. What if he runs out of water? If he runs out of water, then it's certain Thomas will run out long before him. Maybe he'll run into a siding and crash. You know, the possibility of that happening is slim, right? Those are definitely interesting ideas, but I think I have an idea that will work. Oh, hello, Scotsman. Uh, how long were you listening? You have a plan, Scotsman? Indeed, I do. Thomas, follow me, please. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, Scotsman. If you don't mind me asking, uh, why are we here? Thomas, do you see that line right there? Um, yeah? That was an old line, that, that which was a shortcut to, uh, I think it was Ellsbridge. But it has been forgotten over time and has been abandoned. Luckily, the track is still intact, though. And why are you telling me this, and how do you know? I'm telling you this because you can use the line to get ahead of Gordon. As for now, let's just say a little tender engine with grey wheels told me. Wait, what? You know how the rest of that can be! The line can be covered with branches and other things that could drown me! And the track might be too weak to support me! Which is why I went on it earlier to make sure it was clear and could support an engine's weight. It was a little bit messy, but my drivers cleared anything away that could get stuck on the track. Plus, if it could support my massive tenders, I'm sure it can support your weight. Okay, but what about Gordon? If he's already near Kronk when I get to the shortcut? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm going to distract him by leading him down another path, which will give you enough time on the track to the shortcut, and get a lead. 
now. I need to get back to my sheds. Ugh, you should use this time to study the line, Thomas. Good night. Suspected. He chickened out. Looks like he had too much smoke and not enough. <laughs> Look who finally showed up. Sorry. I had to ask over working my branch line while I was gone. Alright then. Now that you're here, we can begin the race. Start the countdown. On your marks! Thomas. Get set! And may the best engine win. Go! Thomas, can't keep up. Hello, brother. Scotsman, can't you see I'm racing? What do you want? No, oh, nothing. I just wanted to say good luck. Not that you need it, though. Ugh, I don't have time for this. What? Who can't keep up now, lazy bones? No way. I can't believe this! Haha, <laughs> that's more like it! Oh, oh, hurry up, Edward! I'm sorry, shooting star. But this is a slow goods train. Ugh. Finally. I bet Thomas's. That's not possible. He's get away with this. What's the matter? Couldn't keep... Something's burning. Uh, Gordon, there's something wrong with your boiler. Nonsense, there's nothing wrong. And I will not be distracted again. Gordon! Gordon! Oh, mother, it's... It's seeing my heart all of a sudden. Oh, I'm feeling the pain all of a sudden. Oh, I don't feel so good. He's gonna blow! Brace yourself! Indignity. I'm lost. Now Thomas is going to win the race. What? No, he, he couldn't. He wouldn't. He, he can't. Yes. Thomas, what are you doing? Shouldn't you be winning the race? Winning the race? Gordon, are you crazy? I never cared about the race. I just wanted to prove a point. That you weren't better than us. What are you trying to win if you want to prove that point? Because proving a point doesn't matter anymore. It's more important. It's helping a friend. Helping you, Gordon. Thomas, why are you helping me after all I've done? Like me, he doesn't deserve help. Gordon, a long time ago you told me something. Something I've never forgotten. United we stand, together we fall. Will you help me? You, you remember that. All these years later? Of course. How could I not? It wasn't when I knew we'd become two friends. But the engine that stands before me now isn't the same engine that said those words. I guess what, what I'm trying to say is... No need, Thomas. I understand it all. And you won't. What I have done is not right at all. An absolute jerk to everyone. I've put lives in danger. I almost lost the friendships I've hold near to me. I think the fat controller was right. 
Making me streamline was a mistake. And that's a mistake I intend to fix. Are you saying? myself on the street. Really? But shooting star, you don't have to. I didn't win the race. Thomas, I'm not the shooting star anymore. Call me Gold. And besides, it's like the little friend of yours said. I can only be me. There's nothing else I can possibly be. And now I'm happy, I am who I am, I'll be the best me that I can. You don't need to be faster, bigger, stronger, you don't need to be streamlined. I don't need to be taller or be longer, being me now has its own appeal. Be who you are and go far, go far. Be who you are and go far. Be who you are and go fast, go far. Be who you are and go far. We don't need to be faster, bigger, stronger. We don't need to be streamlined. We don't need to be taller or be longer. Be me now has its own appeal. Here they come! Are they together? Singing? Oh, good grief, Gordon, what happened? I guess I overdid my limit, Scotsman. My boil had a little explosion. What a little I had Thomas here to bring me back. Gordon, are you all right? I'm fine, sir. Just a little boil trouble. Nothing the Steamworks crew can't fix. Speaking of the Steamworks, um, who won the race? Well, Gordon was in the lead, so he would win. But he wouldn't be here if Thomas didn't bring him back, so Thomas won. I say we let them decide. Well, we already decided. There is no one. None of us may have won, but I've decided to come unstreamlined. That is, if it's all right with you, sir. Considering you have to be repaired, I'll approve your request, Gordon. And another thing. I want to apologize to everyone here for how I've acted lately. I guess everyone just went to my smoke box. I've done nothing but hurt you all. And I'm sorry. I know I probably won't be able to get back your trust. But I'll ask anyway. Can you all ever forgive me? Well, you're alright with me, Gordon. Everyone else? I suppose the Doncaster has learned his lesson. Fine with me. I guess I can forgive you, because I can't pull the express all the time. Edward, James, you know, Gordon, just because you apologize doesn't mean I'm going to forgive you. You almost caused an accident the other day. I think it's going to be a while before I can forgive you. I agree with what James has said. I can understand you all forgiving him. I'd like to see how he acts in the coming months to see if he has truly changed. Only then. Well, that's fair. As for the rest of you, I thank you for your forgiveness. Now then, please take him to the works, Thomas. I need to find a temporary replacement express engine. Yes, sir.
Hello, this is Sir Tottenham Hot speaking. Yes, thank you again for helping me out with the replacement engine on such short notice. So when should I expect this engine? Really? He's on his way now? All right, I'll be waiting to welcome him. Thank you. Oh, that must be him. Are uh, you Sir Topham Hat? Indeed I am. And I take it your controller sent you to help out on my railway. Yes, sir. Now tell me, what is your name? They call me Big City Engine. 